What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your big homie, Biz. Here's Dabi Daiko back at it again. We're talking blading here every single week, so if you're new to this series, consider subscribing and following. Also, like this video and share it with the homies. If you don't know by now, let me enlighten you. We're starting this off with products. Wynn has their first blade product out on the market, and I should have took bets. Damn it. Opportunity wasted. They're making wheels, and both Bobby and Yuto are getting the first sets, and they look amazing. I mean, look at them. They're clear. I don't know if I want to skate them or hang them at my house. Hi, yes, these are my wind wheels. This house is built on winners. Congrats to the whole squad for putting these things out. Creating a product is not easy, no matter what it is. Red Eye Wheels got new shit dropping this week. Two and a half wheels. Half because I announced one last week that I didn't slash did know was Red Eye. I just duped you all because I'm amazing. They got Chris Farmer's wheel coming in at 57 milli. They gave you boy John from another wheel in black. Same design, just the color of me. And yeah, the Carrier Skate Shop collab wheel at 60 mil. The holidays are coming up, so make sure you get all of these. Those two things have no correlation. Okay, that's gonna do it for products. Let's talk about events. Queen City King competition happened last weekend in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Oso Skate Park. Hosted by your friendly neighborhood rollerblader, Montre Livingston. You know him from winning your local competition by way too much to measure. Anyways, the pro comp was won by a 12 year old, Mario Romero, which is incredible. I feel like if I even would have tried to enter a pro level competition at 12 years old, my OGs would have laughed me out of existence. Second place was Austin Hendricks and Tim Franken took home third and also best trick. Chino Sin won the box rail jam sponsored by Red Eye Wheels. The AM comp was won by Tristan Molina. Pablo took home second and Cody Smith rounded out third. Congrats to everyone who skated and placed and all hail the king. Mm, so proud of them. Okay, I guess we should talk about new comps too, huh? All right, fine. Winter is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Biz, you can't say that. Why? Copyright. Shit. The King of the North Skate Comp is happening February 29th. Next year's a leap year? Really? At the Edge Skate Park in town in Massachusetts. It's a Blading Cup qualifier, so that means you can get points for next year's Blade Cup. I mean, if you win, if you're good enough. I don't get points, and I'm great. Prize is $1,000 cash money for the Open Comp. They're also having a 16 and under competition as well as the open. So make sure you get there and check it out. Okay, that's gonna do it for events. We have some fire ass videos to talk about. This is the second week in a row I'm talking about Jeff Phillips. That's what happens when you drop two fire ass edits back to back. You get exposure from me, who is nobody. Jeff spent five days in my hometown of Long Beach, California and just fucked up my favorite spots. Who took him there? You knew this was gonna happen. He was there for five days and he gave him four minutes, which if my calculations are correct, that's six minutes of Jeff footage for Christmas. It's exactly what I wanted. I put that on my Christmas list next to new them skates, crate frames, and my face to be on a backpack. Gotten everything I wanted this Christmas. Make sure you watch that edit because it's dope and pick up those wheels because they're dope as well. Two dope things should be dope together. I swear if this motherfucker puts out another edit next week, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, we have to talk about Oigen because this motherfucker has done it again. He's got a version two of his ramen undercover wheel that is out now, cop that. And the promo is insane. And not in a I'm gonna need a straight jacket from harming myself kind of way, but more in a how on God's green earth did you land that kind of way? He's skating Sam City Skate Park in this one, riding the misspelled shadows, which look awesome on him, I must say. And we already know his switch up game is insane, but just when you think you figured him out, you didn't. The one that completely broke me was Top Soul, Three Soul, Christ Fish, True Soul, Three Out. It took me like 15 times re-watching it to figure out what the hell just happened. Like, do you understand how difficult that is? This motherfucker's incredible. If you need another reason to support Undercover, here it is. You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna go to Austria real quick so we can talk about the boy Michael Vietzman and that swaggy ass edit he has out called Funk, which is appropriate, cause it's funky. If you think Remedies has fallen off, you're wrong. They're alive and well, and 
Michael is proof. Fresh off his injury, he gave us four minutes that just gets better as you watch. Gap up front Farf was amazing, but long top sole, front Royale, 270 gap out was tough. Three top sole gap out was tough too. Also, every spot was different. Do we need to go to Austria? Did I just buy a plane ticket and Airbnb? Make sure you check this thing out because it's dope and you need it to get juice for the session. John Cooley put out an amazing edit this week for Razors and this thing is just cool. Lee. When's the last time you seen a top tea kettle this clean? Or a parallel 540, just like in general. This combo on those stadium benches was something straight out of a video game. Perfect balance cheat activated. It's live on IGTV right now. You don't even have to leave your phone for this one. I know you youngsters love that. Chance of Rain 3 got announced this week and they gave us a trailer of dudes just dying for three minutes. Put together by Carter LeBlanc and Derek Brown, it's got full sections from Jeff Howard, Alex Sams, Sam Askin, and more. It's even got a skateboarding section. Look at you guys trying to bridge the gap. I'm proud of you. This video is gonna be premiering January 11th, 2020 at ShopTask Seattle. That's in the colder parts of the US. I live in the part where it rains sometimes and people drive like there's a tsunami behind them. If you can get there, get there. The video looks amazing. I can't wait for this drop. Okay, that's gonna do it for videos. Let's get social. Okay, we gotta talk about that clip that's been blowing up the internet lately. Jack Tyranny out of London was just going for a casual stroll with his 360 camera, minding his own business, Big Willin, Skitchin, he hops the curb and then boom, car door, wall, day over. This clip has been sent to me by like 20 different non-rollerbladers. It was even shared on Complex. I don't like their comment, but I'll leave it alone for now. Jack is actually a really talented Big Wheeler and he posts videos like all the time. You should become one of his new fans. Ricardo Lino had the chance to interview Jack about the crash. You should definitely check that out. Link to that is in the description. Troy Bayer got busy at Asylum Skate Park with the homie and they should be in an asylum with how crazy these clips are. I feel like when you have an indoor, you're allowed to get a little out there. I really wish I just had one at my disposal so I can just go to it and get weird. Brett Dasovic and Chris Farmer are back at it again, skating for iPhones and in the goddamn snow. I just feel like if the ground is white, you should stay inside. Nothing about the snow says, you know what? It's a perfect time for me to go get the old grind boots and lay some soul grinds. It says maybe I should cuddle up inside next to a fire or some kind of heat source and watch The Office for the 50th time. The clips are for sure fire, but at what cost? Not enough to melt the snow and warm the cold, because that's the main problem here. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following bladerunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you wanna support them or this show directly with a couple dollars, hit that link in the description. Make sure you're following my link tree to get all the twib updates, skating, skits, random pictures of me doing random shit. I don't know what's gonna happen. For this week's Ender, Chris Farmer shows us why we're always gonna be years behind him. We talked about Farmer a lot in this video. It's like he's good or something.